Why is repentance necessary for salvation? Why do you have to turn? Mark chapter 1, 15, the time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. If you don't believe it, you've got to turn to it. It should be a no-brainer. Matthew 21, 32, For John came unto you in the way of righteousness, and ye believed him not. But the publicans and the harlots believed him. And ye, when ye had seen it, repented not afterward that ye might believe on him. You have to repent to believe. And I know there's a straw man. Well, the Bible doesn't say repent of unbelief. That's true. That's absolutely. But it says turn and believe. So there is an instance where you need to turn to belief. There is an instance where you need to turn away from trusting in your own works. You need to turn away from trusting in your own repenting of sins. So repentance is relevant to the context. It means change your mind, change your heart, turn away, turn toward. Look at the words. Re reverse, regret, change your heart, change your mind, return, turn, break a promise, change. Throughout the whole Bible, the word repent just means turn. Never does it mean turn from sin to be saved. That is the lie of the devil. That is attacking our generation more than any other, any other doctrine, I believe. In Acts 17, he says, In the times of this ignorance God winked at, but now commandeth all men everywhere to repent. Hey, you have a Bible. You can look up words for yourself. He wants you to get saved. He wants you to stop believing bad doctrine. Well, what about it says repent or perish that Jesus said he did. And what he said was believe and be saved. If you don't get saved, you'll go to hell. That's repent or perish. Fire and brimstone preaching of Jesus. Listen, daily repentance of the born again believer is necessary to avoid correction. It is necessary to avoid the curse of God on your life. Do you want God's blessing on your life? Yes or no? Answer it in your heart. Do you want God's blessing on your life? He's given us a simple pattern. 1 John 1, 1.8, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Look, in 1 Thessalonians 1, he says, For they themselves show of us what manner of entering in we had unto you, and how ye turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God. If you're a Catholic and you believe in those idols you pray to Mary, you need to turn from that, and you need to pray to the Lord Jesus Christ. If you want God's blessing on your life, read the Bible. Obey His commandments. Revelation chapter 1 Whenever I give the gospel, I take everyone here. This is the last place I take them. That's the last place I'm going to take you this morning. I want you to go there. Revelation chapter 1, verse 3. Revelation chapter 1, verse number 3. What is repentance after you're saved? It's getting your life right, preparing the way for the Lord. That's personal revival. Revelation 1, 3, it says, Blessed is he that readeth. Do you want God's blessing on your life? Read the Bible. And they that hear the words of this prophecy. Prophecy means preaching. There is a blessing if you listen to preaching. You don't just have to listen to me. Boy, the internet is full of great preachers. Be careful of the false preachers. But there's a blessing for hearing preaching. God will bless you for going to church. God will bless you for coming and fellowshipping. Look at the last part. He says, And keep those things which are written therein. For the time is at hand. Christian, keep God's commandment. The time is at hand. You say, are you saying the rapture is going to happen in our lifetime? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. However, your lifetime will end one day. And you don't know when. No man knows the day or the hour of the end of your life. So act as if the end of your life is tomorrow. Keep the things that are written therein. And God will bless you. Why do we re repent as Christians? To get the blessing. How did we become Christians? We changed our mind and we believed on the Lord Jesus Christ.